Hi everyone, welcome to Barbie Dolls of the Week. So this week I'm going to focus on some Barbie basics and then if you stay tuned to the end of this not so long video I'm going to tell you a little bit of an announcement. So stay tuned. Um, but in the meantime, let's focus on the Barbie Basics dolls. And before I get to that, what inspired me to think about that this week is this guy, who of course is part of the Barbie Looks um, group or collection. So I finally got around to taking him out of the box. I have to say he's really a good looking doll, but there are a couple issues I want to warn you guys about if you do take him out and you want to make some possible changes. Well, first of all, let me give you a better look of his face. Let's remove some things I've got in the way here. Um, hopefully you can see his face pretty well. There we go. And here's the back. You can see his hair is actually kind of long, but of course, you know, supposedly cut down in this part. Um, I'm noticing, first of all, that this shirt is maybe shedding a little bit already because I'm finding little black pieces of fuzz so it's kind of a I don't know what material this is but it's got a rough kind of feel to it a little bit and the big warning I want to give you is if you take the shirt off first of all it's not so hard to get off and then you want to put it back on that's where the the hard part comes in so I had quite a time of it and if you look here on the back See, that's what I mean about um, there seems to be some black fuzz even in his hair. And every little something shows up on this black shirt, by the way. So, I love the doll. I think it's a great doll. I don't, unfortunately, have the African-American version of this collection yet uh, that I ordered a few months ago, I think. Um, but hopefully I'll get it sometime later this month or early next month. Well, actually, we're almost at the end of this month. Only a week left, so... Hopefully, I haven't heard from Amazon lately, so I'm not sure. I'm still waiting. haven't been able to get him on any other site either. But this guy is a really a nice-looking doll. Uh, let me take his... His uh, stand is very loose, this part, by the way. So, came right off. Um, now, that brought me to the other Barbie Basics, like this one from years ago. I mean, I, that's what this reminds me of, a Barbie Basics-type doll. Um... And so I've got this guy who, you know, I really think is um, nice looking. And, of course, he usually just has this black uh, tank top. But I wanted to try him in this jacket over it. So I did. And I think it looks okay. Um, you know, I used to like his hair more than I do now. But um, I still think he's a really attractive doll. And I think these two look really good together. So I was trying to find something else to put him on, that, or at least the shirt. That's why I took it off, but so far I haven't found anything, so I put it back on. But yes, it was a struggle, let me tell you. That really takes some effort, because they didn't put any Velcro in the back, which would have been really nice, but I guess they didn't want to do Velcro. If so, when you try to get it over these arms and shoulders, it's really difficult. But yeah, this guy was from, you know, like, I think around 2011 or so, this set from the Barbie base. It could have been 2012, something like that. I don't have the boxes handy. And he is, again, a um, really nice looking face sculpt and doll. Now, that brings, our, brings about the other two of these dolls that were in this set, because these are the only ones I got was the, the male dolls from this particular set. Which is like the Barbie Basics jeans or denim, whatever they called it. So this is the outfit on him. I love the jeans, by the way. He had nice jeans, too. I didn't mention those. So, you know, they've all got nice jeans. That's what the whole thing was about, was nice jeans. And so you can see the stitching. And even on the back, of course, with his pockets. Uh, it's just, to me, these are really well done. And I really like his face, too. And, of course, he's got the flocked uh, short hair. That's just what they tended to do with some of these dolls. Um, but, yeah, I think this is the same face mold as that uh, Texas A&M cheerleader doll, which I have one of those in the box still. I sold one some years back, but I still have one. Um, you know, again, very basic shirts. They didn't need to be much, but... You know, obviously you can roll up the sleeves. I think he might look better in a short sleeve with this, but um, you can just roll the sleeves up. Let's see what it looks like. Like that. I don't know. I just think this would have been better as a short sleeve, but 
that, that's okay. It's fine. It's a long sleeve, too. And again, there's a, a better look at his face. So I love the faces and, and outfits on these dolls. And here's the last one. This is the blonde guy. The more Ken-like one. Um, shaggy kind of hair. Uh, this is when they had it really sort of matted down or whatever you want to call that. So it's very stiff feeling on these two uh, Caucasian dolls. You know, that one, the new one from the looks, is not like that. It's just like free-flowing and I like it so much better. Um, I don't know. By the way, what do you guys think of his uh, hairdo, uh, this looks doll? Do you like this hairdo? I mean, I know a lot of people said they wish they this was not like this and it was more hair. It was hair on the whole head instead of that flocking or whatever. That I think that's what it is. Um, but I like the hair like this. It's a cool style. So I do like it. It's actually longer than I thought. And there's one big long one right here that uh, probably needs a little cut to it, so I gotta probably do that. Okay, then moving on to, uh, whoops, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I was gonna also show you the shoes on this doll, I just forgot. So, here's, if you can see his tennis type shoes or athletic shoes. I just thought those were really nicely done too. And you know, he's got darker blue jeans uh, than some of the others, they're a little bit lighter. Uh, the stitching is a uh, white instead of whatever color that was, like almost gold or something. And he's got the gray V-neck like T-shirt, so I think that looks really nice on him. Um, overall, I think this is a great outfit. I think that African American one, just having a black version of this, would have been nice. And as you see, they have snaps in the back, so it's not as hard going to be as hard to get that on and off. I don't honestly know if I've taken these on and off ever, uh, but I don't want to probably do that because I like the outfits as is. So. Anyway, that's those three Barbie Basics dolls from that jeans collection or denim collection that was about 10 years ago. And then moving on to another part of Barbie Basics to finish up this section. Um, this is the Barbie Basics. These are box dated 2011, so probably out in 2012 or so. It depends when you got it, I guess. I, did, I didn't get these at Target. These are from Target. They're specifically for Target, made by Mattel, of course. And they're Target Barbie Basics. So, um, you know, there's quite a collection. I guess there's at least six, because here's three on the back of this one. And I love that picture, by the way. It's such a... I mean, whenever I saw pictures of these, even this here, uh, it's there's such powerful images. I mean... They, um, I don't know if these were the first dolls, meaning the Barbie Basics, not these specific ones, to use these type of bodies. Does anybody know? Maybe not. I, it just seems like that's when I first remember it. So this, by the way, is that whole denim jean collection. I believe it's the whole thing. And so you see the three guys that I have in there, and you see the all the other women that were available. And I think I had this one at one point, but sold her. Uh, but I didn't get a lot of those, especially before this this collection so anyway but back to the target ones um i really like this doll and this doll's okay to me this is the one i have here so here she is this is model number one of this collection um i like her hair now i will say that to me the color is a little different this is more golden blonde this is more platinum blonde now i believe that's the same one i'm gonna double check yeah, it's the same doll, same outfit and everything. The hair looks longer on this one as well, on the real one. So anyway, I, I do like this hair a little better, but this is still a beautiful doll. I'm glad to have the two that I have. I wish I had some of the others in this Target collection. I might have to try to look them up on eBay and see how much they're going for. Uh, but that's the first one, and this is my favorite one. Now here's the three on the back of this um, box. And I really wish I had her. Uh, again, she's okay. I'm not so sold on her. And this is the one I have, who's my favorite of this collection. Especially the real doll, because to me, the real doll actually looks better than the one on the box, in my opinion. Um, the one on the box looks fine, but I just don't think she photographed really well in this. Her eyes look a little weird, and her hair is different. 
But look at this one. I mean, the eyes are very smoky. I love this hairstyle. I think this hairstyle and the eyes and that red dress are what makes this doll so stunning, in my opinion. I mean, you know, it's, these are very simply dressed, and I think that was the idea, but they just make such a statement because they really are model dolls, and that's what I believe they were supposed to be, modeling, I mean, to me, and I think that's what they would say about them on the materials. I like her bracelets, by the way, for Target. You know, these red, being in red, of course, was an, a salute to Target's red bullseye, and, um, you know, I happened to work for Target for seven years, so I knew a lot about Target back then, but anyway... Yeah, she is definitely my favorite. What do you guys think of the six dolls that are shown? Who are your favorites? We've got these three and these three. So I think these, the two on the ends and this one are my favorites. And then this blonde here and then her and then this one in the middle. And I'm this one's my least favorite. So. Okay, so anyway, that's the dolls I wanted to share with you today. Now for my announcement, um, I have just joined TikTok this week. Now I will warn you if you decide to follow me on TikTok, talk, not TikTok, TikTok. It's R D F Man M A N. That's my name on TikTok. Um, and it's not right now about Barbie and toys and dolls. That's what this channel is for. Um, I'm a performer. I don't know if you know you guys know that. I've been doing performances for 30 years on and off uh all kinds of characters um you know on stage improv you name it as far as that kind of performance and i've probably been involved musicals uh, not that many musicals though but the wizard of oz three times i think i've mentioned that uh, but yeah i joined tiktok as a way to express myself in performance because right now i'm not able to do theater on stage, and so, um, you know, I've been meaning to look into TikTok, it just took me forever, um, but it's been a week, and I've had a lot of fun, so I've posted quite a few videos of me performing in different ways, and different looks, uh, they've got some interesting filters, um, like I said, I've done many characters over the years, including the very first character I did was a drag character, and I, you know, haven't talked about that much, but um, I had a lot of fun with that, and did an improv show, etc., so you see uh, some different looks on that, as I said. And if you want to follow me on TikTok, please look me up again. It's R D F Man M A N. Um, and I don't know, you know, how often I'll post videos, but because this was the first week, I posted quite a few. And I love, by the way, that you can do duets with total strangers. You know, you kind of latch onto their video, and you do you sing along with them or lip sync along with them. So. Uh, you can do either, by the way, lip sync or sing. I'm doing lip syncing at this point for most everything. So maybe some of you would like to check that out, but that's my announcement for this week. Uh, it's been exciting, I have to say, you know, just to be able to perform again in some fashion. And, you know, keep in mind these are minute long or less videos, and that's okay. Um, you get to do a lot in that one minute. And, you know, I think if you can express a lot in a minute or less, you're doing something right. Now, doesn't mean it's always a good expression, but it's an expression. And, you know, obviously this is all subjective. You know, I've posted a couple of these on my Facebook already, or a few of these I know on my Facebook stories. And, you know, I've actually had some people who didn't like uh, the look on some of these, and that's okay. Well, not everybody's going to like everything you do or every look you have on a character. But I just hope people will keep in mind that that's what it is. It's performance, and it's character's. And you're just expressing yourself. And I've always been, you know, one of my mottos, or not mottos, but my theme song years ago was Express Yourself by Madonna. And I think that's so important. And that's what I'm doing in this channel, or on this channel, and that's what I'm doing on TikTok as well. So, and don't forget I'm on Instagram, so I'm just all over those three. And um, I hope that some of you will enjoy it as you do these videos. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please let, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Take care, everyone. Bye.